Okay, welcome in to 3Shape Tria software. I already scanned myself the lower half arch and I got the upper half size. So now it's time to scan the bike scan. Let me scan the bike right now. I just scanned the bike scan for three seconds and then with the two molar open lower uh, software got automatic alignment done so it looks fine and it looks good but my point is uh, sometimes if we scan the bike scan with the too short if it's not enough uh, data for uh, the alignment even the software got automatic alignment done but actually it could make little uh, off or little open or little too much close uh, the bike alignment Example here, uh, between my upper and lower canine, I can see about the millimeter, little over a millimeter gap there. But actually, uh, my mouse, I don't have like that much gap there. So what I suggest to you is, let me just clear the bite scan out, and let me scan uh, the bite again. Even system giving us the sounds for uh, the automatic alignment, I just keep going until the canine. So whenever we scan half or quarter arch, please make sure that too. Uh, with a full arch scan, uh, it might be better because we're gonna have two different scan, byte one and byte two, like a right and left. So it could make it better. But especially when you scan the quadrant or half arch scan, please make sure that. With this little longer byte scan, can we see that? Is lot less gap between the upper and lower canine so this is what i want to tell you about the bike scan tip uh, this is number one we have to make sure it okay the second things which i want to share with you guys today is this function uh, just for contacts is regarding about the occlusion contact so i just turned off this function and then let's see with my little long and enough uh, bike scan like a molar to canine if i see the occlusion view like this we can see the context area okay not contact point is context area is overlap each other and you can see a little wider context area with turn off this tool whenever i turn on this tool i turn on this tool i just click the check system adjusting to make minimize contact point so which meaning is it makes like uh, the first touching spot first touching uh, point leave it and then it just adjusts all around but for adjust work is from the byte uh, data so if you have a short or not enough data for the byte scan with the blue color it this work adjusting work even will not work well so please make sure we have enough scan of the byte and then uh, before we send it to the lab we want to make sure use or not uh, you can just check both like turn on or off okay and then uh, let me show you uh, with it like color map uh, the comparison with uh, turn on and off a little later okay let's go to the third one which we have to care in the bike scan the third tip today about the bike scan let me talk about the uh, whenever we need to open the bite and scan it so I have just like little long uh, posterior uh, by registration with the putty and then I have a small insider stopper too. So which one is better? Uh, my answer is to me, I like this one better. Uh, let me show you why. I keep scan my posterior and focal side until like a canine so the upper got alignment automatically but it's not look so great and even lower uh, we didn't get I didn't get uh, the automatic alignment of course I can do manual alignment with like red and green dot but instead of this way let me just clear this out 
and let me try to using a small interior uh, by registration okay Did you see it? So I just biting down some small things in my interior and it just scanned the posterior side. It just aligned a uh, lot better and faster. Of course I got until the canine. So the reason why whenever I just biting down in the interior side uh, on the posterior, we have empty space, but empty is empty. So empty space is not really like um, effect to the, uh, the bite alignment work, but with uh, uh, the big wide putty we got some uh, buckle images it's like about the putty buckle images interrupting uh, the aligning work uh, like data by data so uh, whenever you have some a case some patient need to be open the body call uh, you get a, a putty or whatever your material finding out the uh, good uh, body call but for scanning creating small anterior stopper to getting by scan Okay. And then also uh, after alignment done, uh, we'd adjust for contact button here. We saw something change with that button, but let me just turn off this. Okay. And let me try to turn on again. Did you feel something different? Tiny bit change, but almost it's nothing happened because it's not overlapped images, right? So already we don't have a contact, we don't have over contact, so system does not do anything for it, okay? So we know three things today. Let me uh, to finalize and recap for that. Okay, final recap today. The first one, scan amount. We don't wanna scan like this much short anymore. We wanna scan like a little longer until like K9 from the terminal molar and we can see some uh, difference between the short scan and longer scan more information more data yes better adjustment and alignment number two adjust for context when it's off we can see uh, the upper and lower jaw scan file is overlapped each other with the contact area and then when it's turned on we can see the system finding out the first touching spot as like a contact point and it just leave and stay there. So might be you can think uh, something wrong or something bad, but actually if you see that color map shape, we can see some color different, like uh, we have a lot more blue when it's off, but actually color shape is the same, which meaning is uh, the distance between the upper lower jaw is a microbial different, but contact point, contact area, jaw relationship, upper lower teeth position are same. So the meaning is when you do CAD design, just need to care a little bit more when you decide occlusion cut. That's it. Number three, scanning when you have to open the bite. Uh, we can scan with a little longer, uh, like I just did with a putty, a little longer putty with the, uh, all the posterior. And then I try to test with an interior stopper. To me, yes, I got with anterior stopper better uh, scan and alignment result. So it's all up to you, but I hope this is helpful for you. Thank you.